If I thought the missions were long, they're just getting longer. But now we switch back to Daryl's branch. Interesting. Daryl, are you leaving already? <coughs> yeah. We don't have much time until the rendezvous. Wait, what is going on in this branch? Rendezvous with whom? I forgot. We have to get we have to get to Kumana so uh, as soon as we can. I'm sure not spent gold. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl, for all you have for all you have done for us. Don't worry. It helped us too. So, what are you going to do now? We will go back to Caracas. We must take the television but we must take the television station there and force Diaz to officially re revoke his declaration on the air. Don't go back there. It's crawling with state army and Zafran troops. Wait until I deliver the stuff we took from the Zafran base to the EC. At least then you won't have to worry about the Zafrans anymore. Oh, right, right, okay. So he's uh, rendezvousing with Elsa's uh, team to transfer uh, evidence. Just like the story writers. <laughs> story writers didn't have to play a two hour long mission. But if you do that, they may burn Caracas down to destroy any evidence of their presence. You're capable of that, are they not? Yeah, I guess they are. We do have a plan. There's an unfinished highway that runs to the center of Caracas, right up to the TV station. It will help us reach Caracas before the enemy can react. How much opposition do you expect? The state army is concentrating their forces around the assembly building. But there don't seem to be many of them on our planned route. We have come this far. If we stop now, we will be betraying the memories of those who gave their lives to La Alianza. You're a good man, Louis. I wish I were more like you. Thank you, Daryl. Louis, I'll go fetch Diaz. Okay, thank you, Hammond. Hammond. Oh? You're leaving too? Okay, I think Maria is not Russian anymore. <laughs> Obviously, she's she's probably part of this village, but she just looks so much different from uh, everybody else here. Yes, orange Elsa. <laughs> we have a blonde Elsa. We have a red Elsa. We have a... speaking of red Elsa. What the hell happened to her? Yes, if Louis and his people, if Louis and his people manage to take Caracas. They will run into the UCS army next. I'm going to the UCS garrison's headquarters to stop them from starting a fight with La Alianza. I have to warn you that Colonel Donalds is a real hothead. But you deal with guys like that all the time, huh? So you threw a part of the troops assigned to Donalds? Yeah, but not anymore. We are deserters. Da, da, da. Do we need to set up here now? 24, 67, holy shit, we do need pilot set up. Actually, no. Only two people seem to have any EP whatsoever. Let's talk to some people. We're finally getting out of this country, aren't we? Still, we should check the pawns that are in computer shop and buy anything we need. I heard they got some new stuff. Fuck, they got some new stuff then. Okay, then I guess uh, starting of next stream is just gonna be... Pawns are set up. As I always say, we can never be too careful. We're just going to leave! You're not going to say goodbye to Lewis and the children? I'm sorry. I 
cannot see you out. Be well, Daryl. I guess I will miss you a little. Actually, a lot. You people were fun. Be well. Huh? Any signal liking to Daryl? I won't tell them I saw you. Thank you for helping, Louis. Okay. Nothing of significance. Uh, what new fonts do we have? Hey, Professor. Daryl, what brings you here? Did you forget something? Oh, we just thought we... We just thought we should say our farewells to the governor. I hope we didn't interrupt anything important. That's alright. We were just talking. <laughs> Quote unquote talking. I was trying to re-educate re Diaz so that he might become a better man. Though I fear his recovery may be beyond my skills. <laughs> may I have better success with you, Daryl? Interested? <laughs> uh, things are going so well here that they're just pulling each other's leg. Daryl? Eh? Are you alright, Diaz? Yes, it was Daryl. What? Maybe your re-education was a little too much for him, Thamond. So you're Daryl. What is going on? Louis, listen to me. He's Daryl. Is he? Is he all right? I don't know. Do you remember? I told you how I paid the Zaftans to come here. Yes. They never received the payment I sent them. I sent them a crate of gold as they asked, but the plane carrying was shot down by the UCS. What's worse, someone took the gold from this crash hat and ran away. Oh my god. I was just... <laughs> Looks like after all of this time, that goal comes into play now. Hey, Diaz, take it easy. But the state army was able to intercept radio transmissions from the thieves. And from these transmissions? Diaz, that's enough. Stop it or I'll... From those transmissions, we learned the names of the thieves. One of them was a Daryl of the UCS army. That's him. He stole my gold! Huh. It's over. Is this true, Daryl? Did you really do what Diaz claims? I'm sorry. I cannot believe you. Do you know what you have done? Listen, Daryl. That gold was made from all the things that Diaz made from all the things that Diaz stole from the people of Venezuela. Daryl, you're smart enough to have known that. Yeah, I know. Sim 13 unlocked through finishing Sim 12 for sub 15 tons. So 15 tons is still uh, an hour long because uh, the last mission was 20 tons only. Okay, about 23 tons, let's say. I thought you were our allies, our friends. But all this time, you were hiding this from us? When were you planning on telling us? Never? Pretty short for FF4. <laughs> Maybe. We'll, I guess we'll find out next time. Ines, that is enough. How can you not be angry, Louis? They tricked us. They lied to us. I know. They hid the truth from us. They also risked their lives for us many times. Yes, but... Daryl, you can have the gold. Please take it away. Oh, that is so sweet. Louis! Ines, listen. Greed can drive a man mad. If we take that gold, we may become like Diaz or worse. Daryl, take the gold as our thanks for all you have done for us. Thank you for fighting with us. Oh, yes. Are you crazy? 
You know how much that gold is worth? You are throwing away 25 million dollars. It is better for them to have it than either you or me, Diaz. Spoken like a true leader, Lewis. Daryl, please understand what Lewis is trying to do. I understand, but... Yeah, I don't know what to say either. Are you really sure about this? You would give the children here a better future if you found if you had this gold, you know? We have done all right so far. We will be fine. I guess that's our cue to leave. Let's go. Um did I miss the Wanza shop? I heard what happened. It's no surprise no one's come to see you out. <laughs> Oh, Maria. You shouldn't worry too much. No matter what, me, what he may have told you, I'm sure Lewis is glad you were here to help him so many times. Not worried. Really? Your expression says otherwise. Just leave us alone, okay? Hey, Daryl. What do you want? Come to teach me another lesson? No, I haven't. I'm not angry with you, Daryl. On the contrary, I want you to pick the pick the Alianza pilots we should bring to Caracas with us. I'm not going with you guys. You know that. Yes, I do. But I value your judgment as a soldier and as an officer. To think of it as a farewell present to Lewis and Ines. What do you say? Sure. Just save it here. Come on, let's get out of here, Daryl. Hm. Come on. Daryl. Don't give me that face, Schaefer. Let's go. Daryl is feeling guilty? So we go from refugee village to... What? State Road? Why are we stopping? I know how you feel. There's nothing only the three of us can do for them, is there? I guess not. They still have a lot to learn about military tactics. But I'm sure Salmon will whip them into shape. Yeah. Oh my god, Daryl actually misses them. That is so sweet. It would be a little sad if they got killed. But we'll soon forget, right? Oh my god, Rengis. If you say so. Even if everyone in this country starves to death, it doesn't matter to us, right? We're leaving this place for good. Who cares, huh? Are you trying to convince him? Rengas? What? Sounds like you're more worried about them than I am. Uh, what? No, I... Schaefer, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just playing the radio. I wonder what's on today. That is what got us into this mess. Confirmed. <laughs> Gorillas are on the move. I repeat, gorillas are on the move. They seem to be headed towards the unfinished highway southeast of the capital. All units, move to intercept. This is Delta 1. It looks like they are planning to enter Caracas on the highway. Delta 2's team will move to block them. You people make sure you are ready to defend Caracas. I'll have your heads if you let any of them by. Okay, that's an intercepted transmission. Uh-oh. Is that crazy chick again? Oh shit, it was Ivanovna. It's that crazy chick again. Diamond's plan didn't work. They won't last long against her. <laughs> Don't worry. Diamond's with them. He'll make them fall back as soon as he sees they're in trouble. I don't know. 
He tends to lose his cool when he starts fighting. And Lewis can be pretty stubborn. I don't think he'd run that easily. You guys. But as you said, who cares, right? That's right. Now get this truck moving. Are you sure? Alright, Rangus, how about this? We provide them with our services as mercenaries, and they let us keep the gold as payment. That's a reasonable business proposition, isn't it? Okay, okay, I got it. So we're gonna go help them, right? No, Jafer. We're only gonna earn our gold. But Daryl, what are we gonna do with the transport? It should be in Venezuela by now. I guess we'll have to let it go. We have to go help. I mean, go to business with Lewis first. One of these days, Daryl. One of these days. <laughs> Villains turned heroes.